Hey everyone, before I get into this video, I want to announce a brand new giveaway we are doing in April and it starts with this, well, this thing. We are giving away two copies of Trials of Mana. Now, to get those copies, all you need to do is comment down below, like this video, subscribe for more content, hit that bell icon. That gets you one entry and you can enter on every single video throughout the month of April and on the final day of April, we will announce the winner. So yeah, a little bit after the actual release date because it comes out on april 24th but uh we're just gonna make it a month-long thing uh so yeah giving away two copies so good luck and uh let's get into the video hey everyone it's been a long time since you've seen your boy here nintendo prime at it again nathaniel rumpel jance all that jazz there is so much craziness going on and i'm not gonna sit here and pretend i just forgot about the channel and the podcast and everything in between in fact there is one thing and one thing only to blame uh for why i haven't been around and well here you go Yes. Animal Crossing New Horizons has consumed my life. That being said, we have a ton of Mario news for you because in case you didn't know, this year is the 35th anniversary of the Mario series. It came out back in September, uh, I think back in 1983, all that jazz. Cool, whatever, life moves on. Um, but the problem here is that Nintendo had a plan for the 35th anniversary. Now, to me, the 35th anniversary isn't really that big of a deal. Like, when I turn 35 next year, uh, man, I'm going to be 35 next year. God, I'm old. Um, that's not really a big deal. I thought 40 was the big deal. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh, they did do a blow-up for the 30th anniversary. So, here we are for the 35th. And Nintendo had massive plans at E3. And all of this news comes from several different media outlets. So, it's being corroborated by a lot of people. Jason Schreier from Kotaku. Uh, the original report actually started at VideoGameChronicle.com. Uh, you got Eurogamer backing this up. You got uh, Gametsu backing this up. There's a ton of Mario stuff. And this blowout was supposed to be Nintendo's big thing at E3. So, does that mean there's no Breath of the Wild coming later? Later this year um i wouldn't say that uh that could still be part of the plans uh but we'll get into that in a separate video because i actually have some thoughts on nintendo's holiday title and how it might be breath of the wild 2 um and some stuff that arlo had to say about it i don't know we'll get into that later because today's about mario and if there's like a major 3d mario game you wanted to see come to switch it's pretty much coming i think there's only one that wasn't included in in this pack of leaks at this point um and that is super mario galaxy 2 for some reason that's not part of this although maybe it is and it's just not part of the information they have uh but yeah we're getting a bunch of mario games now first off let's start with the biggest announcement and i say biggest because it might be the one you guys care about the least depending on how the game goes there is going to be a new super paper mario game thingamajigger coming um we don't know when we don't know what it's going to be or how it's going to be based on obviously paper mario the last entry on wii u wasn't exactly well received uh and it's been a little bit since maybe even thousand year door that a majority of people agreed that paper mario was good so uh that's like the big new mario game supposedly that was going to be announced obviously no release date or whatever we presume all this is coming this year uh, it appears the plan this year was to carry the year with mario but mostly mario ports because obviously paper mario isn't a huge seller these other games though are and we're talking three major games in particular here uh and then one game that you probably expected to come so uh for starters are you a mario galaxy fan i mentioned that galaxy 2 isn't part of this but that means super mario galaxy is Super mario galaxy is one of the best selling 3d platforming versions of mario out there uh and it is being remastered which we you know, have now confirmed through gamitsu that that means in hd uh coming to the switch at some point we don't know when no release dates uh super mario sunshine is being remastered as well in hd oh 
And guys, you wonder why they were shutting down all those Mario 64 Unreal Engine 4 projects? That's because that is also being remastered in HD and being brought up. That's right, Super Mario 64, the game that launched the Nintendo 64 and made that system a household name and made Mario into a 3D platforming god. That game is coming over to Switch in HD. Yes, folks, that is crazy. No idea on release dates, no idea on pricing. Just that this was supposed to be a big 35th anniversary blowout at E3. Obviously, uh, the plans are shifting a little bit. However, Nintendo uh, isn't willing to comment on it. Everyone's reached out to them. Nintendo's like, we don't comment on rumors and everything, even though Nintendo has commented on rumors before when they weren't true. But they're not saying anything this time, so take that to mean what you want. Uh, but what, what, what that means to me is that obviously all this crap is true. And uh, the last thing, and this is the expected game, Super Mario 3D World Deluxe is, is, is happening, which uh, I think we all expected that after new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, plus like every single exclusive from the Wii U seems to be coming over. Still waiting on that Pikmin 3, Nintendo. Come on. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the year of Mario, I guess you can call it. Uh, the second half of this year, apparently going to be blown out with Mario games galore. Now, could that carry Nintendo through the holiday Maybe. I don't think Nintendo wants to uh, bank everything on a bunch of ports and HD remasters, but you never know. That's why I think there's still at least one other major holiday title. Uh, now, this could uh, disappoint you in some ways. If you're not a huge Mario fan, this means that maybe the second half of this year there really isn't much for you to play on Switch uh, from Nintendo. And that's a little bit of a letdown. For people who are major Mario fans that want all these games, are waiting years for these games to be in HD and all that, this could be a godsend. You get your Sunshine. You get your 64. You get your, Hopefully, hopefully, I'm hoping that 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy are in a three-pack collection. That would be sick and not individual releases. Again, we don't know any information, pricing, how they're releasing this, digital, physical, any of that crap. Uh, Nintendo is apparently reworking how they're going to present this, which I find weird because Nintendo does digital events anyways, but maybe they had a big E3 show floor, Nintendo Treehouse thing, plan and now they have to kind of redo their plans for that uh but that's okay nintendo's gonna do what nintendo needs to do to get the, the, this information out there uh and what's even a little bit exciting about this in terms of new information on something related to gaming but not necessarily about the games is all this information was set to be revealed alongside details about nintendo's partnership with universal this includes nintendo talking about the theme parks probably showing off some of the theme parks because a lot of the theme park in japan is actually done and they're starting construction of the one down in uh you know down at universal florida however it's still going to be i think two or three years off from that one coming out uh but the one in japan actually there's been some some photos of it leaking out there that you can see that are uh very interesting looking at, at least uh and then obviously details on the mario movie so we might have even got our first trailer for the super mario movie that's happening in partnership with universal by the team that does minions and all that stuff so yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy to me that we're getting all this information. And uh, the fact that, you know, we're getting all this out now is, is surprising to me because Nintendo keeps this stuff under wraps pretty good. The things that they're going to reveal and show off in, like, a Nintendo Direct is uh, usually under wraps. And I'm curious how this stuff ended up leaking out like this because even though the plans for E3 were canceled, we're still months away, you know, we're two, two and a half months away from when Nintendo was originally going to unveil all this. So to have all this come out now... Um, you have to wonder if there's some just Nintendo employees working at home that are just like, hey, you know what? Uh, we're just going to let people know what the plans are now that they're canceled because people are kind of upset after that Nintendo Direct. And um, I, I didn't understand why some fans, particularly fans of my channel, seem to be really perturbed at that Nintendo Direct Mini for, for some ungodly reason. Ninjala was unveiled. I mean, what the hell? Um, well, not unveiled. I guess release date unveiled. Uh, but yeah, I... I'm pretty excited uh, to see what happens in this year of Mario. I'll see a lot of these games are games from my childhood. Super Mario 64, like right in the heart of the 90s for me. I, I, you know, I was born in 86. I was about 10 years old when that came out. Uh, great game. Uh, really love the hell out of it. I think it's actually Eric's favorite Mario game. You know, Eric from the Nintendo Prime Podcast. Pretty sure it's his favorite Mario game of all time. Um, Sunshine. There's a, there's a cult following for Sunshine, so it's great to see that. There. Galaxy. I loved Galaxy. Um, I'm interested to see what happens with the Paper Mario game. I, I, again, I don't know if it's going to be any good. Um, I hope it's going to be good. Um, I'm uh, I'm really biased towards Thousand Year Door. I feel like that was the perfect Super Paper Mario game experience out there. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Color Splash just didn't do it for me. Uh, but, you know, 
it is what it is. Uh, maybe I should have more faith in Nintendo because pretty much every game or new game in a franchise they've released this generation has been like the best in a long time, if not the best ever. Breath of the Wild to me, best Zelda game ever. I know, kind of cross generational. Um, I personally think that, uh, <laughs> you know, well, oh, man. I, See, now I'm thinking about ranking Mario games in my head, you know, where, where does Odyssey rank? And honestly, I'd probably put it um, right up there with Mario 64 and Galaxy is like the best in the series. Um, you know, you got games like uh, even even freaking Mario Tennis for some, some reason is really damn good on Switch gameplay wise. Needs more content, but still best gameplay I've seen in Mario Tennis maybe since the Game Boy days, to be completely honest. Um it's just crazy to me what's happening with all this Mario stuff. My mind is just swimming. Like, what? What could there be other games? Could Galaxy Two be coming? Could, gosh, uh, could we be seeing like even the old classics like Super Mario World and stuff like that? Like, put into HD, even if they keep the two D side scrolling thing. Like, put it in HD instead, uh, up that resolution, get some new textures in there. I'm, I'm just, my mind is swimming in possibilities for what Nintendo could be doing. But a big Mario blowout apparently was the plan for the second half of this year. Uh, again, I don't know that this is enough. It, it feels weird saying that, but I don't know if Mario, especially the only new game being Paper Mario, is really enough to carry during a holiday when you have uh, Xbox, a new Xbox, a new PlayStation, you know, game, people really interested in next gen and all that. Uh, I think they need something that's going to be a bigger attention grabber than that. Uh, and there's something about Nintendo's major holiday titles. Um, Arlo kind of brought this up, and I actually looked it up to verify, and he was correct that uh, every major holiday title Nintendo releases always has at least nine months of run-up time. Um, and, uh, yeah, there isn't anything announced right now besides Zelda um, that meets at least nine months criteria because they kind of missed their window to unveil something. It would have been this month. They would have had to unveil it this month. They have a December release or whatever, uh, and they didn't. So, Zelda? <laughs> Okay, more more on that later, but man, oh man, Mario, Mario, Mario! Now, excuse me, I got some work to do on my Animal Crossing town, man. Got got some beautification to do. I got to get KK Slider to come perform uh, sometime in April here, so I got some beautif beautifying to do. I want to make roads too and pass. I'm waiting to do that. Terraforming. Hopefully, I get that in this next month. We got Easter stuff coming. I man, Animal Crossing is consuming my life, but. Uh, until I guess Mario games come out, that's what we got to play on Switch. Well, there's th there's some third party games. That's not like, Trials of Mana coming up. We got that got that giveaway going on for you guys. Trials of Mana, by the way, is supposedly better than Secret of Mana. I've been told. I've never played it, and Secret of Mana is my second favorite game of all time. So, who knows? Maybe Trials of Mana is actually my favorite game of all time that I just haven't played yet. Huh. Never thought about that. Anyways, I am Nathaniel Robogents from this Prime. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment down below, uh, hit that bell icon. That's how you enter the contest. And you should just do that in general because if you made it this far in the video, you clearly are enjoying your time here with me at Nintendo Prime. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you all in the next video.